14 years old, freshman year. Basically, it consisted of getting beaten up, popping pimples, getting beaten up, trying to fit in, begging not to get beat up, and getting beaten up more. Let's just say this was not my year. I could compare it to a 2018 Logan Paul. <laughs> Anyways, I had not hit puberty yet. I was the shortest one out of all my friends. My voice was still high and my dick was still small. Fabulous. But still I remember freshman Logan was so intrigued by some of the senior girls. They were so hot. How did they have so many curves and womanly features? It didn't make any sense. Well, the hottest one, her uh, name was Sarah Campbell, let's call her. She happened to be in my study hall. This girl was a dime! When she walked by us, it was fireworks, baby! The booty! The boobies! The beauty! Sitting behind her for half the year was one of the greatest experiences of my life. One day after getting beaten up, I decided I was done looking at the back of Sarah Campbell's head for 45 minutes every day. I was gonna march right up to her and make her my wife while I still had the chance. So, I give my battle call, Hamdala! And I say, who? Uh, what? What I said, Sarah, I was what I, what I said was yo. Okay, I, look, I literally don't know what you're saying. I said I think you're pretty! Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm sweating bullets, I'm rock hard for some reason, and I feel like my lungs are about to explode! Uh, aw, thanks. But are you okay? She must have noticed that I uh, wasn't breathing. Nope, ma'am, I'm absolutely not, and I passed out on the floor. Well, my tactics work, and she must have thought me being unconscious was cute, because from that day on, sometimes Sarah would initiate conversations with me, and I even helped her with her homework once. But I knew that our relationship had to go to that next level, and to do that, I needed her phone number. So I asked my freshman friends for advice, and lucky for me, my one friend Jamie was actually family friends with Sarah, and he had her number. So I took it from him, because I did not feel like passing out again in front of Sarah. <laughs> not my brand. That night, moment of truth. Phone's out, fingers ready to text Sarah, so fucking good she marries me on the spot tomorrow. So I go, hi, it's, it's Logan. Hit send, and then I wait. Ding, hey, what's up? Holy shit, she responded, oh my god, oh, 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 I'm about to get it on. But of course, I play it cool, so I say, Ding, you. Damn, I was killing it. These types of riveting conversations went on for about two weeks straight. Of course, at school, I'm bragging to my boys, talking about how smooth I am. None of them believe me, so I show them the text, and she's sending, like, pictures of things. She even told me what part of town she lived in and what her favorite movie was. All of us were losing our minds. Finally, one day, Sarah and I were texting, and she asked me for advice on what to wear to a nice family dinner. A dress or a skirt? Uh, I don't know. I like dresses. Not on me, though. Not, like, for me. Like, not for personal reasons. I, I, I like dresses on girls sometimes. You? As you can see, I was still pretty nervous as shit about this girl. But then she hits me with the text that would change my life forever. Hey, can I send you a picture of me in the dress? Dun dun dun! What the fuck? Did I just read that right? Can I send you a picture of me in the dress? <gasps> oh my god! I knew at that moment I was in. She wanted these virgin lips, and it was undeniable. You don't just send someone a picture of you in a dress unless you finish Smash. And that's just facts. So I respond all cool and shit. Yeah. Y E. Completely drop the A and the H to show confidence. So I wait, and again, I'm rock hard. I do not know why, but five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, 30 minutes go by. It felt like I had lived five lifetimes. And then, ding. Incoming picture message from Sarah Campbell. My hands are shaking. I open the message, and oh my gosh. What the fuck was I looking at? At first, it looked like a duck, or maybe a Pokemon. Potentially that Pokemon that looks like a duck, Psyduck. But no, after further inspection, I realize I'm looking at an extreme close-up of a man's face. And then it hits me. That man is Jamie. My friend Jamie! The one who gave me Sarah's number in the first place. Except now it's very clear to me, it wasn't Sarah's number! I had been flirting with my friend Jamie over text for the past two weeks. And sure, I'm embarrassed, but what about Jamie? Who keeps a joke up for this long? What the fuck, man? You got some real life identity problems. 
Next day at school, Jamie and the boys are all making fun of me, pointing, laughing, all making the duck face at me. I see Sarah in study hall, but I can't tell her what happened or show her my face forever. My heart was shattered and my dignity was gone. So I did what any heartbroken post-catfish freshman would do. Nothing, except go get beat up again. The end, like and subscribe!